Hi, this is Brent from Studio One Expert. In the last video, we looked at how we could use the Waves Vocal Writer to tame the overall performance of our vocal tick. In this video, we're going to follow on from that using the CLA-76 to try and catch the initial peaks of the vocal. Now the CLA-76 is an emulation of the 1176 style compressor. The 1176 was a FET compressor, meaning it had very quick attack and release parameters. And for this reason, it's great to use it in series alongside other compressors on a vocal chain to catch the transients. This way, other compressors aren't going to have to work as hard, and this is going to smooth out and level the overall performance in addition with the vocal writer that we did in the previous video. So let's take a listen to what the CLA-76 is doing. I've been wondering if you can remember me Cause I can't get you out from my mind And I think about you all at the time And I'm gonna bypass it. I've been wondering if you can remember me Cause I can't get you out from my mind and I think about you all at the time. So to me, it sounds like it's not doing a great deal of what I wanted to do, which is catch those peaks. So I'm going to speed up the attack and release time here so I can try and catch them peaks really quickly. If I increase the attack and release all the way to seven, that actually means that it's on its fastest setting because uh, 1176 style controls are actually backwards. Now, I'm going to reduce the input, and that is so it's not going to pump continuously really hard throughout the piece, as I only want it to catch the peak. So let's hear what that's doing. I've been wondering if you can remember me Cause I can't get you out from my mind And I think about you all at the time I'm going to increase the ratio to a 12 to 1 and I'm also going to slightly increase the input because we could see that it was doing about minus 1 to minus 3 dB of reduction there and I wanted to just take off a little bit more than that so in the following video my CLA-2A doesn't have to work as hard. I've been wondering if you can remember I'm going to back off the output. And increase the input a little Cause bit more. I can't get you out from my mind and I think about you all at the time. That sounds quite good there. I've been wondering bit too much compression there, so I'm actually gonna back the input off again. Me. Let's bypass it. Cause I can't get you out from my mind. And I think about you all at the time. And I'm just gonna slightly increase the input I've a tiny been bit. Wondering if you can remember me. Now that sounds a lot better to me, and it's catching them peaks just the way I wanted it to. Now the CLA76 comes with two versions. There's the bluey and the blacky. The bluey was the first model that came, and the blacky was the second model. The bluey is known to be a little bit more aggressive and has more harmonics to it, so let's have a listen to how that sounds. Cause I can't get you out from my mind And I think about you all Now we can see that's actually doing a little bit more game reduction. I've been wondering if you can remember And back the blacky. Cause I can't get you out now, to me, the bluey sounds good, but it sounds like it's working a little bit too hard. I could adjust the controls, but I find that the bluey's adding a little bit too much harmonic saturation. And because this passage hasn't got a massive amount of instrumentation in it, I think the blacky sounds good for this. So I hope you got something out of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.